Here's what we want to do is I want the reaction. We have seven C's on this side, so we have seven C's on this side. Seven here. And then we need a two is not balanced. Let's try sixteen on this side. So we need sixteen on this side. And then that gives us 8 times 1, so that's 8, plus 7 times 2 oxygen, which is 14. So this is 11, so that's 22, divided by 2. And then the next thing we want to do is calculate the heat. So for delta H of reaction is equal to reactive minus products. To do that, we would have delta H of reaction is equal to 16 times CH plus, because I have 16 of these, so we're just taking apart this molecule, and then I have 6 times CC bottom, and then this next one. Is oxygen, so I have 11 times LO. Next thing, minus reactive, which is 7 times CO, which is a double bond, times 2, because there's 2 of these bonds, so it's 2 times 7. Well, 7, 2 things on each side, and it's a double bond, plus 2. There's two of them in here, times eight moles, times the H of moles. And so delta H of reaction is equal to 16 times it, this one, 413, plus 6 times this one, which is 346, plus 11 times that one. Double bond, so it's this one. No, we didn't use these. They were put there to confuse you. So we have this plus the next thing eight sixteen OH, which is four. Going to be equal to negative 4,432 kilojoules per mole. Now, delta S is still how much is equal to delta H over T. So delta S is surrounding is equal to negative 4,432 over 25 plus 273 because we put it in Kelvin for 200. Seven to eight kelvins, which is equal to the S of surrounding, which is equal to fourteen point eight seven kilojoules per kelvin.